guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode two of Let's Make a Mod Forge Edition. Today we're gonna be making our very first class and then we're gonna be adding in our very first item into our Forge mod. So today, what we're gonna be adding in is this Topaz, which is from my Trio Gems mod from Minecraft 1.5.2, or no, 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 Minecraft 1.2.5, I got it all mixed up. But this is the old Topaz that I used to use. If you guys want this Topaz and want everything else, links in description. If you guys click on the first link, you guys could download this Topaz Topaz, which we're going to be adding into our Forge mod. So anyways, if you do click on the link, this is where it's going to take you. It's going to take you to my Minecraft forums called Creating Mods. So we are now in episode 2 of Forge, and if you guys scroll down, you're going to see that it says right here, Mod Loader, but none of this is going to work for Forge, so just scroll all the way down till you see Forge right here. So here's Forge, and it's going to be right under here, and it's going to be called episode 2, and just click show spoiler and that's where the download is going to be for uh, you know the picture and all of the source we're going to be using will be in this forum. So go here and copy and paste the source for you to make your very first item. So what we're going to do in the series of the forge we're going to make our first basic item then we're going to start making tool sets all right so we're going to start making tools again we're going to be making armor or generations all over again smelting uh, solid blocks and probably even food. And uh, everything else, we're even going to make another mob, but for Forge. And then we're going to make it multiplayer compatible, which will be really awesome. So anyways, how about we get started and just get your item. It has to be a 16 by 16 transparent background of the item. So if it's a piece of pizza, just make sure it's transparent and it's 16 by 16 and just get it started. So this is the item I'm going to be using. You guys could get it in my description. And once you have the item ready, what you're going to do is go into your uh, Forge tutorial folder. So this is where my mod's at. I'm going to double click that. And this is where we decompiled and did everything in the first episode. If you guys are new to the series, click on the annotation above where it says episode one just to get started. So inside my Forge tutorial where I have all of the bins and stuff like that, even my source codes, I'm going to go here to jars. All right. So I'm going to go here to jars and then I'm going to go here to bin inside the jars. So I'm going to go inside of bin. Now inside here, I'm going to make two new folders, one called items and one called blocks because I'm going to be separating the textures of every single new thing that I add in. So I'm going to create new folder and call this one items. So there we go. This is items. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another new folder and call this blocks. All right. So the reason why I'm doing this is just to separate all of the items and everything I'm going to be making in this uh, tutorial. So it's going to be best. So when we drag in all of the items to our minecraft.jar without having any issues. So inside this items folder that I created, I'm going to go in there and just place my topaz in there and just let it wait there. So when we're done with the coding, we're going to come back to this and we're just going to drag over this items folder into our minecraft.jar. It's going to be very simple. Uh, so we're going to come back to this later on. So I'm going to exit this off and now what I'm going to do is open up my Eclipse folder. So I'm going to open up my Eclipse folder and now I'm going to run Eclipse. So I'm going to double click I'm going to double click Eclipse and if you guys uh, haven't already linked your workspace with Eclipse, what you have to do is just go up here to file and you go here to switch workspace and just click other. Now you have to browse your computer till you find your moddings folder and click on Eclipse. So you have to link Eclipse to the Eclipse folder. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there we have it. I'm just going to press OK again for it to restart itself. So uh, how about we start making our first item when Eclipse is opening up? All right, there we go. So what you have to do is go here to your Minecraft folder and you have to click on this arrow right here. So click on the arrow. Then you're going to click on source and just click the arrow for source. And now just scroll all the way down till you see your little own custom SCM owns dot tutorial package. If you guys don't have your very own package, we have to do is just minus this. And uh, if you go here to forge tutorial, you go here under source Minecraft. I've made my very own package by uh, creating it a new folder and just calling it SCM owns. So I made a new package instead of placing inside the net folder. I just made my very own folder and called it SCM owns inside there. I made another new folder called tutorials and this is where all of my source is going to be located when I create it. So yeah, you can make your very own uh, package if you really want to under your moddings folder source Minecraft and this is just the package name. You could put it your name and probably your mods name if you really want to. So let's just keep it like that. So now what I'm going to do is open up my uh, Java or my Eclipse. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click my scmones.tutorial empty package. I'm going to right click that. I'm going to create a new class. So right click new class on the empty package. 
now I'm gonna create my very own class. Now the cool thing about Minecraft Forge that's completely different from Mod Loader is that you don't have to put mod underscore and the name. So since it's Minecraft Forge, you could just name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna call this the tutorial mod, just like that. If you're gonna make a new space mod, just call it space mod or whatever you want to name it. You could also put your very own name if you really want to. So I'm gonna call this one tutorial mod. It, there's no need for mod underscore tutorial mod anymore. So you just need the tutorial mod itself, just the class. Once you have done that, click finish and you are good to go. So this is our very first class right here, package SCM owns dot tutorial and all that great stuff. So in my Let's Make a Mod series, I'm not going to be typing out all of the code because it's probably going to be a very long video. If I do type in all of the code and all of the things, you know, just spending hours just typing everything, it's going to be a very long video. So instead of doing all that, I'm just going to make it simple for all of us. So what I'm going to do is link you guys my source in my description. So go to my Minecraft forum, go under to Forge, episode 2, show the spoiler, copy that source and paste it in and follow along. So uh, what you have to do is go there and what I'm going to do is use my SCM own server mod for an example. I'm going to right click this and open it and this is the source I'm going to be giving you guys. So anyways, I'm going to be copying this source and talking briefly about it and show you guys what this actually means. So let's just copy that source and just highlight all this and just paste it over it. So there we go. We're going to have a lot of errors because this is my source from my SCM own server mod pack. So uh, yeah, you guys are going to get some errors, but I'm going to show you guys how to fix those errors. So the first error you're going to get is the package error. So if you guys notice, my package is actually called scmowns.tutorial and not scmowns.server. So what you're going to do is just highlight over that error, just go over it, and at the very bottom it's going to say change package direction, uh, declaration I mean, to scmowns.tutorial. So click on that and it should be able to uh, change itself like that. You can just highlight the error and just type it in yourself. Just name it the same as the package that you have. So now this is our basic importing. So this will define our blocks, our enum tool materials if we make our very own enum tool materials which will be very soon when we make armor sets and tools. And uh, also here's items, item foods, item stack, enum helper, mod and all this other stuff that Forge needs to import. So this is importing, we don't have to mess with this. And what we have to do is just scroll down a little bit and here, this is the basic things that Minecraft Forge looks for. This right here, this is how you declare a brand new mod. If you put at mod this is the mod id so uh what's the mod id um this isn't the author name this is just what the name of the mod is so i'm going to call this one tutorial mod so if it's like mo creatures he's going to put mo creatures so just pretend if you're trying to make a mod just like mo creatures you can't put mo creatures in that mod id because then when you happen to run your mod and mo creatures at the same time both those IDs are taken up and it's going to get confused and it's going to be like, oh, that's double the mod. It's, it's confusing. So try to pick a unique name that no one really has. So if it's your name, just put your name there. Anyways, this is the name of the mod. So how about we just highlight this instead of SCMO's private server mod. Let's just remove that and we're going to call it a uh, tutorial mod or whatever you want to name it. You could call it the lightning mod, the thunder mod, whatever you really want. So I'm going to call this tutorial mod. There we go. Now, this is the version of the tutorial mod. I'm going to leave it at version 1, not version 1.1. Just call it version 1 if you really want to. Now, you don't really have to mess around with this network mod. Uh, what that pretty much means is uh, this is just what Minecraft Forge needs. It's just basic needs that Minecraft Forge wants, which is just the network mod. But it's already set up for you, so you don't really have to mess around with this. Just leave the client on true and the server on false for now, and we'll come back to this later on. Anyways, we're going to scroll down a little bit more where we have another error, and this one is the public class SCM owns or SCM owns server. If you guys notice, the class file that we created is not called SCM owns server. We called it tutorial mod. So highlight over that error, scroll down, and you'll see right here rename type to tutorial mod. Click on that. Once you have clicked on that, it should have been able to rename itself, and there you go. Now it's fixed. You just make sure it says public class tutorial mod. So inside this parentheses or the squiggly line bracket, inside here is all of the defining and all of the tools and all that great stuff, which we're going to go over right now. So this is the tool material. Just I just made an empty space for you guys right here. Inside this blue, just highlight what I just selected right now. Inside there, we're going to be placing our tool materials. But right now, we're not going to be making any tool materials because we're making our very first item. So yeah. Let's scroll a little bit more down and this is telling Forge everything we're creating. 
So this is public static item test. This is our first test item. We're going to remove test. We don't need that. We're going to call it Topaz. So this is the Topaz item. Since it's an item, we place item. If it's a block, you remove item and just change it to block if you're making a block. So public static item topaz scroll down and you'll see de uh, declaring this is what we're going to be pretty much defining our item just like a vocabulary book you're going to look up a word and you're going to find the definition of what it does so that's pretty much what this is meaning so uh here's define where we're going to define the topaz item so instead of this test right here we have already named it topaz so remove test and call it topaz if you are making a topaz item so our topaz equals a new scm owns item so what this is this is a new class file we have to define what a scm owns item is so you could call it whatever you like you could remove the scm owns and you could call it billy's items or whatever your name is or uh, you could even put like uh, secret items or or uh, thunder items or whatever you want so i'm just gonna place it as um gem gem items so every gem that i'm in, i'm gonna make is gonna be under the gem items class and if i make a sword it's gonna be under the scm owns blade class so this is a new class we're gonna create right now so what you're gonna do is hover over the error of the gem item if you are gonna name it gem item hover over that and go here to create class gem item click on that and just press finish and now if you notice if you go here to your scm owns package uh, you'll see right here gem items have been created so now you have two class files your tutorial mod the main di directory and this is the extra gem items so this is where we're going to be defining our item so what i'm going to do is go into my description and copy over the item source Mine is called SCM owns item. So I'm going to right click this and just open that up and I'm going to copy this. So this will be linked in my description. You can go there and copy the source if you want to. So I'm going to highlight this and just paste it over it. And there we go. This is what you're going to be copying. First off, the package is wrong because it is not a net SCM owns server. It is actually SCM owns tutorial. So I'm going to go over this, just hover over the error and you'll see that it says right here, change to package SCM owns tutorial. There we go. So now that I've changed that, now our class is called gem items it's not called scm owns items this is for my server mod pack that's why i called it uh you know scm owns items because this is my very own mod so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna highlight over or i'm just gonna hover over the scm owns items and just rename it to gem items there we go because this class is just where all my gems are going to be located at so there we have it so public class gen items is going to extend items so this is items from uh, net Minecraft items items. So this is the basic importing and uh, all of this is required for Minecraft Forge. Anyways, if you go down here, if you guys want, let's say, if you want your gems to be located in a sp specific area in Minecraft creative mode, this is where you're going to change it. So if I'm going to have tools, I don't want it to be located here in the tab materials because materials is like, you know, diamonds and, and iron ingots and stuff like that. That's why every time we're going to be making a, let's say a sword, a tool and all that stuff, we're going to make our very own class file for it. And we're going to be calling it a sword item. You know what I mean? Or we could call it the blades or something. So we could change the set creative inventory. So since this is going to be a gem, I'm going to leave it here at tab creative uh, material. So if you want to change it, you could just remove that just backspace and put a dot and it'll tell you all of the tabs. So there's brewing tab, there's comeback, there's materials. So I'm just going to go back to materials. I want it at materials and we're going to leave it there. We're not going to be fighting with our gem. So let's just leave it at materials. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, tutorial section and that error should go away. So now Topaz equals new gem item. And this is the item ID. So you could change this and make sure that you change it because uh, let's say if you have it at, let's just say 5,000. A lot of mods might have their item ID set at 5,000 as well. So just come up with a unique item ID. If you put it at like 8 billion, you're going to get an error. So make sure it doesn't really go that high. Just set it somewhere around 3,000 to probably 4,000. So I'm just going to set mine to uh, 2,000. Let's just put it 2,001. So there we go. All right, you know what? I'm going to make it fancy. 2013. So yeah. Topaz equals new gem item. 2013. This is the item ID. Dot set unlocalized name. So this is our picture name. Now, what did you name your picture? If we minus this, we go back to her. If we go back here to our Forge tutorial and you click here to jars, go here to bin inside our items folder we created. What is the name of the picture? We called it Topaz all lowercase capitalization actually does uh, 
it, it, it's cap lock sensitive. So if you put a capitalization, it's going to look for that. So this is all lowercase topaz. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to rename this picture name to topaz, just like so. There we go. So this is the name of my image, Topaz. There's no caps, it's just all lowercase and just makes it so simple. So now how about we set the item name of our Topaz. So language registry dot add name for test. We don't have a test because we haven't defined a test up here. The only thing we defined was a Topaz. So just highlight test and call it Topaz, just like so. There we go. So now what we're going to do is name the item. So when you're holding it in your hand, what name is it going to like appear? What I'm going to do is just highlight this and I'm going to put a capital T and just call it Topaz, just like so. Topaz gem. How would I do that? So when you hold it, you're going to be like, oh man, I'm holding a Topaz gem. That's pretty cool. So once you have done all that, you're officially done. You could go up here to save all and click on that. Click on save all and just leave it like that. And now what you're going to do is make sure that your item is inside your minecraft.jar because uh, when you launch minecraft it's going to be looking for the item so go back to your bins folder or let's just exit this off you're going to go back to your forge tutorial folder go back to jars bin now what you're going to do inside your bins folder is you're going to right click your minecraft.jar that's located inside that bins folder and you're going to open that up with winrar so open up that minecraft.jar with winrar so uh, once you have done that, what you're going to do is go here under textures, double click that, and here's the items and blocks. What do you know? Right here we have something called blocks and items. So uh, in anything inside these are going to just automatically drop inside these folders as well. So I'm just going to highlight this folder, uh, items, and simply drag it into the minecraft.jar where there's items. So I'm just going to drag it into the any of this blank area. I'm just going to drag it and press OK. So now my item that's inside here will be inside this items folder. So now if I exit this off, go back to my clips, uh, after I've saved all, press play. So once you have pressed play, now it's actually going to be running the mod and it's going to take a little while because it's uh, launching everything. And if you have any errors, be sure to double check the errors. And if you guys need any help, post a topic on my help forums. So while this is running, you'll see that Minecraft Forge displayed a little hello message and we are good to go. So it's downloading its stuff and eventually will be able to work. Make sure to read your error down here as well. Down here at the bottom, it's going to tell you like what error did you get. So now that uh, it's running, here we go. You're going to see four mods activate. Usually if you just run it without any mods, it's going to say three mods activate. And what that is, it's just Minecraft Coder Pack running, Minecraft Forge, and Minecraft uh, Forge Mod Loader. So those are three mods, including my mod, which makes it the fourth mod. So if you go here to the mods tab, you'll see that we have our tutorial mod version one. So there we go, our tutorial mod version one. If you guys see up here, if I just scroll up, we did call it tutorial mod. No, no, actually right here. We did call it tutorial mod and it's at version one. So it does display right here. So every time you update your mod, just make sure to change the version if you really want to. And uh, how about we go to single player, create a new world, we're gonna go into creative mode just to make sure that if we go inside the materials tab in creative mode, our gem will be there. So how about I go into my inventory, go here to materials, click on there, and scroll down, and look, there's our topaz. What do you know? Oops, I accidentally paused the video. But anyways, there's my topaz. I was trying to press F, uh, F5, but uh, it accidentally didn't work because it paused my video. But if you guys could see, there's my topaz. We've added it in our topaz, and this is it. If I hold it, it's actually called topaz gem. So there you guys go. That is basically how to make your very first item in Minecraft. That's really cool. There's my topaz. We're going to be doing a lot of cool things with this topaz. You can't really do anything at first. We're just adding into Minecraft. And then we're going to start doing a little bit more crazy stuff with the topaz. Probably we're going to make it a shiny, make it super rare. We're going to be making an ore for it. All that great stuff. Later on in every single week, I'm going to be uploading uh, tutorials and stuff for this series. Anyways, guys, if you guys like the series, be sure to leave a rating. I apologize that if I was up and down with this tutorial, uh, stuttering maybe because uh, it's 10 o'clock. And uh, yes... I, I normally don't record very late, but uh, 10 o'clock is pretty late for me. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all of your support. See you next week.